Princess Jully, born Lillian Alma Aoka, was a celebrated Kenyan Benga musician known for her powerful voice and impactful contributions to the genre. Her life was a story of resilience, determination, and passion for music that allowed her to rise above her struggles and make a significant mark in the Kenyan music scene. Early Life Lillian Alma Aoka was born in Makalda Village in South Nyanza, located in southwestern Kenya. She faced hardships early in life when her father passed away just a week after her birth, leaving her mother, a small-scale farmer, to provide for the family. Lillian was the youngest of nine children, though only six of her siblings survived infancy. Despite her family's challenges, she drew inspiration from her grandmother, Bentanyar Canyon Kago Nyagalama, who was a trailblazer in her own right as the first woman chief in Nyanza province and a respected singer and musician. Lillian's education was limited due to financial constraints and societal norms that prioritized boys' education over girls. Although she attended school up to Form 1 at Bakira Girls High School, her education ended prematurely because her mother couldn't afford to pay her school fees. Reflecting on her situation, Lillian expressed frustration over the community's belief that educating girls was a waste, comparing it to watering someone else's field. Young Lillian became pregnant out of wedlock, an event that led to her rejection by the child's foster father. However, her life took a positive turn when she met singer Julius Okamu, known as Prince Jelly, who accepted her and her child. After the birth of her son, Felix, Lillian began to accompany Prince Jelly's band, Jolly Boy's band, as a backup singer, marking the beginning of her journey into the music world. Musical career, Princess Jelly's musical career took off as a backup vocalist for the Jolly Boys Band, which was led by her husband, Prince Jelly. Initially, she performed under the name Billy Abel, as she felt her appearance resembled that of the famous Zairean singer with the same name. Her life and career took a dramatic turn when Prince Jelly passed away in 1997. Lillian, now known as Princess Jelly, took over the leadership of the band and rebranded it under her own name. Under her leadership, the Jolly Boys Band flourished and gained even more popularity. The band's success was highlighted by the release of the hit song, Dunyam Baya, which solidified their presence in the Kenyan music industry. Princess Jelly's talent and dedication to her craft helped her lead the band to new heights, making her one of the most respected figures in Kenyan Benga music. Throughout her career, Princess Jelly was prolific in her music production frequently releasing new albums. Her 19th album, Anino Lek, was released in March 2007 and produced by Taboo Osusa at Keepul Productions. Just a few months later, in August 2007, she released another album titled Wangi Wabaro, which was dedicated to the Orange Democratic Movement ahead of the 2007 general election. This album was produced by Ted Josiah of Blue Zebra Studios further showcasing her versatility and commitment to producing high-quality music. In addition to her music career, Princess Jelly established her own production house, Jelly Productions, aimed at nurturing and promoting emerging artists. She also had the opportunity to perform internationally, including a tour in Switzerland, where she brought the sounds of Kenyan Benga to a global audience. In 2010, she released another album titled Jaluo Mijingo to Die, inspired by the controversy surrounding Majingo Island. Collaboration and Legacy Princess Jelly's influence extended beyond her solo career as she was also part of the Divas of the Nile, a supergroup of Kenyan female musicians that included Susano Oweo, Aki Ngabura, and Mercy Myra. The group represented the best of Kenyan female talent and performed at the Festival Mundial in Tilburg, Netherlands in 2007 further cementing her status as a significant figure in the Kenyan music industry. Her music and influence were not only felt in Kenya, but also reached international platforms, allowing her to share her culture and the spirit of Benga with diverse audiences worldwide. Princess Jelly's work has inspired many upcoming musicians, especially women, by proving that with determination and resilience, they can succeed despite societal challenges. Awards and recognition Princess Jelly's contributions to the music industry were recognized when she won the 2003 Kissima Music Award for Benga Artiste of the Year. This accolade highlighted her influence and importance in the Benga music genre, 
solidifying her position as one of Kenya's most beloved musicians. Death On October 12, 2024, Princess Jelly passed away at Migori Referrals Hospital after a short illness. Her death marked the end of an era for Bengal music in Kenya, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire musicians and fans alike. Her journey from a young girl facing societal and economic challenges to becoming a celebrated musician is a testament to her talent, strength, and unwavering dedication to her art. Princess Jelly will be remembered not only for her melodious voice and the success of her band, but also for her role in championing the cause of women in the music industry. Her life story serves as a source of inspiration for many, reminding us that with perseverance and passion, one can overcome the odds and leave a lasting impact. And with that, thanks for watching, subscribe for more videos.